guys, so today it's me, Parker. Sorry, Cam. Sorry. Um, and yeah, we're gonna be doing a tackle box and a rod review. So this is the only rod I brought. I have like, what, seven other rods? These are all the Parkers and Cameron brung too. I, if I would have known, I would have brought all my rods, but that's, I don't think that's all Cameron's tackle. This is my tackle, I don't know where Parker's is. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is mine, this is not all of mine, disclaimer. This is just half of it. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get to the review in a minute. Hey guys, so this is Parker's tackle bag. But this is the nice setup, so it's a really nice setup. I can really use it for anything. Salt water, fresh water. I caught like a, what, 20 pound, 20, 2015, like a 20 pounder, what's what's that called? Angel Ray. Angel Ray on this thing. Don't believe me? Go check out BP Fishing Boys. It's, well, it's not called Fishing Boys, but. Yeah, but. Still, still. So, yeah, um, it's really nice rod. I like it. Got that little grip on it right here. The line, I think, 15 pounds. Perfect. Offset hook for Racky Wigs. That's the only hook I just grabbed that in my box fast enough. Still works, though. And then right over to the tackle bag. And remember, this isn't all of it, so just half of it. So... We got the Cast King pliers. I love it. <laughs> These Cast things. King is a pretty good brand. Yeah. And I'm not sponsored. I wish I was. Um, by Cast King, but yeah, nice orange grip. They got the line cutters. We got the pliers. Pretty good pliers. Oh, I, right here. I rate these ten out of ten. It's just like so good. Twenty five bucks for these steel. Something like this at like what Bass Pro would be like huh? thirty bucks. All right, now let's move on to the tackle. All righty, so let's go. A mini Senko. Yeah, that's what Matt was kind of using last night. That's why he was catching tiny fish. I'm using it. This is a All right. Thing. So we're just gonna get to. This is the first box of soft plastics. I have three, but I only have another one in there. So this is just some worn out one. Parker, it, well, it's not really worn out. Hey, Parker, you want this for tonight? I have one right here. No rips in it. Just take this extra one. There, it works now. Um, I don't know why this is in here. It's just kind of in here. It's soft plastic, I guess. Yeah, soft plastic with a metal jig head. Um, we got the twist tails here, all different kinds. We got the cross what are these called no are they made by Guggen or are they they're just crawfish I don't even know Pro oh yeah I think these are made by Guggen I don't know so and then we just got the Sankos it yeah just the plain old Sankos these are what this these are the slaying machines so the tail um yeah. we get them <coughs> this is just a, my terminal tackle all for fresh um so, hold up, guys. As you can see, someone was in here last night. Okay, but... Um, so, I know, you can't really, I know you can't really see, but these, what I'm holding right now, are for my bobber rigs at Birch Grove. You'll see some videos there. These are at my bobbers. And we got bells for, I don't know what reason. I bottom fishing without a bobber. Yeah, like something for that. <laughs> we got weights, offsets. These are all offsets. They got rusted because I dropped my bag in the water What's when I was fighting that huge, huge stingray. Really taking so, what is this on the front? Yeah, I hope that snaps on you. Guys, look at the flexibility on this laser light rod. Oh my. Yeah, don't snap it, because remember those reviews? Pretty good jig head, structure is white. So spinners. All right, now we go on to the second half plastic box. I don't have my third one, but 
Mr. Burns hit me with the rod. So these are all my paddle tails. I would and fill these two oh, up. You bought the hundred pack of them? No. Oh. Did you buy like a pack of like hundred? These are the white and black, just a plain old white. These things are massive. Yeah, they're a little bit big. So if, I, if I'm fishing for like five pounders or four pounders, definitely use them. Oh, black and blue. Yeah. yeah, so that's all it. Um, just all paddle tails. Now here's where, oh. Before I even open this box, I thought I lost this guy last night, but it was just in the bottom of my bag. This is a chatterbait. Chatterbaits are really good for bridge grip, guys. Yes. You don't have one fish on them, but they're good there. I've seen people catch fish on them. Alrighty, so let's get started here. These are my spinners, bass jigs, chatters. This is just everything here. Frogs, all my frogs. Lipless crankbaits, jerk baits, random stuff in there. We got little swim baits. I don't know why this is in that divider. Crankbaits, topwaters, poppers. We got everything in there. Um, yeah. And we're going up to who? Who? Who do we want to do next? Yeah, Cam. Cam All right, we'll do Cam next but yeah i'll get you guys once we start hi right, boys and girls um we got cameron he's up we are gonna show what he's got so what do you want to start with the rods right, i'll start with the rod first i got the nice fluger rod i caught like eight bass it's pretty nice rod. Let, let me see this real quick i need to show these Guys, what is up? Look at that braid. This is a really clean setup. We got that nice cork. Hey um, guys, I have the exact we, same rod, just with a different reel on it. And yeah. yeah, we and got different. this Actually, same line. Like, just nice great. reel. Yeah, we got, th this is just an amazing setup overall. It's insane. It's only like 35 bucks at the tackle store. We, me and Cam got it for like 35, 35 bucks. All right, let me move on to, they have good quality on them. This bay casting reel, I got it for a Bass Pro. Not too Still, expensive. it's a really nice setup, too. Sorry. And then I got this, um, what was this called? G GLF rod? GT. Oh, sorry, my bad. GT rod. Not, not that expensive. It's a good rod. Yeah, it's a good rod. I haven't caught, I have, like, caught, like, a couple of fish on this. So then you're going to catch a couple more. Yeah. Alright, now yeah, let's hopefully. move on to my tack. I don't really have that much because I haven't been done. So, let's start off with this. Your terminal tackle? Yeah. Alright, I just have some weights and like... Oh, well, that's a leader. This is leader. This. These are weights. Yeah. Can I have this leader? Sure. We got some small hooks for some bluegill. Um, and there's some float rigs. Yeah, some float rigs and all that. So that's all that's in that box. Alright, now let's move on to all my good stuff. We got some worms. We got some sankos. We got some lizards. These work actually really good. Some twist tails. Crankbaits. Uh, Crankbaits, yeah. I kind of like these twist tails. This is what I call my bass. Dude, that thing, wait, wait, let me see this thing. Guys, can we get a minute to see how big this thing is? Okay, so. Look at that. Jesus. Look at that thing. You caught a bass on this? Yeah. I, how big? Not that big. Where at? Where to go? I got this crankbait. Um, I got some hooks, small hooks, got bullet weights, tungstens, all that. Oh, best part in here. Shut, 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 I got some, um, what are these called again? Eyed hooks, something like that. Oh, let me see these. Uh, these are jig heads. Jig heads, yeah. And then, I think these are like for 
um, what's it called? Oh, these are, the, yeah, uh, these are trout. grub. Yeah, you can use yeah, these trout. for trout, bluegill, anything. I guess really anything will eat this, but I don't know how to, like, actually work them, though. You, you well, you bounce. can just, no, you can put these on a bobber, guys. This is what AJ caught, um, in that one video. I let him borrow this, and it worked. What's it called, guys? If you don't know, if you guys ever use crappie magnets or trout magnets, if you put a bobber on it, it's like, and you, you're able to jig it and move it, they work really good. It's good for trout. I'm gonna try it next year once it's stuck trout. Here's on to my other stuff. I got some. I don't know why this. Dude, is in. Parker. I don't know why this is in here, but God, I don't know. Tripping? And then I got these. These don't work that great. Got some lizards. Gal get lizards galore. It's pretty nice. This is what I caught my uh, pickerel, that the one that I was in the white dumb T-shirt when I was holding it. Yeah, you should go check out that video. It's in the montage. Um, it's in Fishing Boys, and Fishing right? Fishing Boys. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. is not a channel it's anymore. Big, it's pretty big. Um. And then these, I really haven't been using these because these look suckish. No, look terrible. So that's all. Yeah, that's all for Cam, and we'll get you guys once we get to Parker. It's Parker's turn. All right, guys. So the rod I'm gonna bring tonight, since um, I saw some pictures of some smaller bass, and it'll be fun as my bait, bruh, bruh, as my bait bruh, setup bruh, for Birch Grove. So later light, busy light. Got a wacky rig on there. That's rod one. Bruh. So this is my full rod collection. The other half's at my dad's house. Then we have an SLX, DC. Oh, and a favorite rod, Shimano reel, by the way. Then we have one of our favorite rods. We have the same rod that Cameron has, a Fluger, but a different reel. Pretty good reel. Less than me a while. And now this rod, I just use this rod because the guides weren't broken. Otherwise, I wouldn't have kept this rod. Just the Shakespeare rod on a Daiwa reel. Then, this is my favorite setup. This is a pretty expensive setup. Um, Shimano Spiros and Daiwa. This is one of the setups from my dad's house. Then last setup, we have an ugly stick. With a Thor reel. Quantum throttle spin reel. Then my tackle box. Have fun with this one. Yeah, guys, you might be tackle box for watching like a while. <laughs> I'll keep it as quick as possible. Let's go through everything. This is my extra box where I'm too lazy to put the other stuff away. What? The extra box. Then we have terminal tackle. Weight, weights, bullet heads, some hook swivels. Should be split shots, but I use them all. And we have crank baits. And we have soft plastics, a bunch of Senkos, some twist tails, a mimic minnow, and some of that stuff. Then we have this crushed up red at the bottom of that. Ew. And um, jerk baits and top waters. And then. Last trout box, some spinners in there, some hooks, some sperms, and a spoon. So, and then there's a bunch of other stuff in my tackle box that we're not gonna have time to go over. So, see you guys.